Okay, here we go. DeFi. It's actually off at the moment. On. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Nothing works, nothing works. What it's doing is it's trying to take the water out. But there's no water in it. If you actually take the tube out. Had the same problem before, and they came and actually replaced the um, dishwasher. If it's under warranty, don't do anything. Call them up. Call whoever it is. Call them up. Say you want it replaced or you want it just fixed. What I'm going to do is quickly look in it. Somewhere in here, there's a sensor which goes up and down, and it's there in case there's a big leak and it goes up and it will keep sucking water until the water's gone and that's what's probably stuck so let's have a look also something you could try as well when you open the door still does the same you should you should actually try cleaning all the whole, whole machine out make sure there's no blockage quite often there's a blockage here coming out I noticed when I um, clean the inside there was a couple of olive pips in there, so maybe we've got a blockage. Easiest way to do that. Suck on the bike. Might, might be that, but I don't think so. Right. Let's try taking the side off. One there, one there. Probably something at the front or the back. Let's start with those two there. So I'm going to take this one off. And this one off. I think. Maybe not. Actually, I think I'll try and take the top off first. One over there, one over there, and then it should slide the top off. Let's start with that. Right, and did the screws. And just pulled on the top, pull it back flat. There we go. I see it's got some nice insulation. Let's have another look. Hold on. Right, there's the lid. Or the top, whatever you want to call it. Insulation. Okay. We're going to do this one. Ah, see it's on the front as well. There's a screw here. Probably get that this one down here as well. On the front. So. I expect this one. This one, the two on the front, we'll take the side off. This may not be the right way of going about it. I expect the 
underneath would probably be better. This, this one at the front. and then that'll probably pop the uh, side off. And we're gonna have a quick look, see what we can see. Probably nothing, but hopefully we can get in down there. Let's try it. Okay, slightly smaller screw, there's one big screw there. And the other one, the other one. Just a big one. I'll try and take it up, I'll try to wiggle it. I see there's another one under here. So, it sort of comes off, and you can see some stuff in there, so I think we're going to be able to see something. I've just got to take that bottom one off, and then hopefully that's it. Um, oh, one thing I meant, didn't mention, oh look, there's a little clip there as well, which just goes over. So you push back, and then it's there. Um, one thing I meant, forgot to mention, if you turn the power off, then what happens is it, it starts the cycle again. It gets, it gets to where it dumps the water after the first wash and then it goes back into the um, get rid of all the water um, and keep pumping cycle oh, it's slightly bigger as well I have to try and remember which ones which and say if, if you're not under uh, under warranty it's okay but make sure make sure you're not under warranty otherwise or just do it very carefully and don't tell anybody that's probably easier that's interesting. There's the, uh, there's something there. Uh, okay, there's a spring there, spring loaded door, tensioner. Helps the door. I'll have to get a better camera. Okay, what's in there? Lots of stuff. That's always good to take pictures. Take lots of pictures, then if you put it back wrong or if you're struggling to put it back when you've got those spare parts at the end you can see where it's going to be you can see there's quite a bit of water still in the tank there yeah. right I think I need a torch Little light LED. I nice, so bent this slightly, but I'll just bend back when we put it back together again. In there, don't know if you can see it. Hmm, that's tricky. There is water, and it's not meant to be water. And there is a float made out of polystyrene. I don't know if you're seeing this, I can't see it. It's floating there made out of polystyrene and it, it floats, yeah. Like the float's meant to do. Uh, you can see the water there. Oh, by the way, I've got the electricity on and that's not a good thing, especially when you've got electrics and your fingers and water and stuff like that. So, I've got it on because I don't want to turn the power off. I want to keep it, the power going, and um, and I want to. I don't want to stop the cycle because I don't want to go through the cycle again. I just want to turn it back on and see if it works after. Well, not even turn it back on. Put it back, door closed or whatever I got to make it stop. There's water there, and what I'm going to do is just quickly mop that up with a towel. Everyone should know where the towel is. Don't know what I'm talking about. Read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Douglas Evans. Peter Jones is the book. How many times did I watch that as a kid? Or listen to that as a kid? Right. Just leave that in there to soak any water up for two minutes.
Right, back in a minute. This is quite wet. So I think there's actually more water there than I thought there was. I thought it was just a little bit of damp. Okay. Let me get that back in there and do a bit more soaking up. Look at that. You won't believe all that water came out there. Ah, it didn't. I was making it up. There's quite a bit of water in there anyway. Um, remember what I said about the power being on? I just found a live wire. It was fun while it lasted. I think I might turn off the power now so I don't kill myself. Although I bet I'll get a few YouTube views. <laughs> hey, check out this idiot. Just killed himself on a dishwasher. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I've got my towel in there soaking up. I'm going to pull that out and then I'm going to see if it's sucked out enough water. It was, there was quite a bit of water in there. Still is a bit of water in there. So I think I'll chance one more time without getting it executed. Probably, hopefully. I don't know if people are laughing at the moment. I changed the towel. Look at that. That's, that's wet as well. There's, there's tons of water in there. I don't know if you can see the float. I saw it just then. Let me see if I can see it. So, I'll get a better camera. You might have seen it as I'm moving around, I don't know. That, I think, is the float, and I think that's what the problem is. So, I suppose the easiest way is just to let it dry out and see what happens. Um, there is water in there. Where the water comes from, I'm not sure. The person who came to fix it the first time seemed to think it was a common fault. And the DeFi, he seemed to know exactly what it was, and he also seemed to see, see the original one was had already been worked on. And, and he said, he said to send it back. So it's got 40, I don't know how long um, warranty on it. You got six months or something. He said, just take it back, get a new one, which is what I did. And this one seems to have done the same. So I don't know if it's a stock fault on the DeFi. I don't want to put my camera too far down in the water. Yeah, lovely. Okay, let me dry it out. Let's see what happens. If not, we'll make another plan and dry it out a different way. Okay. Tried a bit of tissue paper. Still water in there. I just tried to close the door. See, uh, see if it start working. Let's put it on. Unless I've... Uh, let's see what goes on. Let's do a cycle. Um, I thought I'd trip the switch then. Earth breaker, earth leakage. Get electrocuted, that's what it's there for. Okay, let's see if we go through a cycle. Doesn't take too long to get through to the first part. And then uh, see if we've sucked up enough water. The other way we could do it as well, probably the easiest way, is to take the base plate off. It's just there. Look how wet that is. Look. A lot of water. Well, too much water to ask me. Well, excellent, there we go. So, where's the water coming in? Obviously from the, from the inlet at the back, it's coming down. Wow. Okay. Go through this one, though.
just as much fun as watching paint dry. Actually, I think it's more fun. What cycle have I got it on? 65. Okay, it's still in Pelea. Pelea motor, whatever you want to call it. That just stops spinning, so obviously that goes in. Well, that's it's no. So it's definitely going, water going in or out, I suppose. See, this is getting splashed. Yeah. Okay, I'll let it do a bit more cycling and then I'll come back. Right, that's about 30 minutes so far, just while we're here. I don't know if you can hear that. Water in, cut, rotating, being squirted up around here. Sound, sounds like a little bit down here. There's the catch by the way, I'm not going to open it now, but that's normal catch, just push in. And this is hot, inside it. It's on a 65 degrees setting at the moment, this is hot, that's hot, no it's not, that's hot, that's not hot, there's nothing coming through there, it's just, there, yeah, this is still nothing, that's all cold, that's obviously hot. Just so you can hear what it sounds like. It's always useful to note things when you're fixing things like the time. I think it's 35, 35, 40 minutes, but I don't know. I should have taken the time. Another mistake. And say, if this doesn't work, what I'll probably do is undo, well, take, unpack it, which is what I should have done in the first place. But uh, there's some lazy people around. I asked them to unpack it for me and they didn't do it. So lazy people. So if, if, I'd, if it was unpacked, then I'd have turned it upside down and taken the base off. There's obviously water from somewhere, but it sounds like they, it, they all do this, but then it might be going through the, the seals and things like that. There is a water stain, I don't know if we can see it. There are water stain at the back underneath the, underneath the uh, dishwasher. So it's obviously happening all the time. There is water just there, but um, I think that's from where I was cleaning out. Looks like there's a drop there. Water. What I could do is just dry it all out even better. I think what I do say is say if, uh, if it doesn't work, which is a good possibility, is I'll uh, dry it, uh, I'll take all the dishes and plates out, turn it on it ups upside down, well not upside down, on its side, and um, take the base plate off and dry it. If that doesn't work, I'll put it all back together again and it doesn't look like there's any seals which I've broken to prove that I've uh, I've uh, tampered with it while it's under warranty so I should get away with it um, incidentally my name's Ivan I'm from Russia is that Russian? that's not Russian how about French? Um, my name is oh, Sweden um, French there we go French uh, what's a good French name? Francois there we are my name is Francois, I'm from France. Uh, I opened this up in my bedroom underneath the Eiffel Tower. And uh, you can come and get me and void my warranty if you want. There we go. So, yeah, I'll probably, if, if, if all else fails, I'll ring them up Monday. Unfortunately, it's Saturday, that's when everything goes wrong, Sunday night. Um, so I'll ring them up on Monday and ask them to come and fix it under warranty. Unless they get this off of YouTube, there we go. Sending the cycle. Uh, yeah, that's about 30 or 40 minutes, I think. Probably, probably 40 minutes. So now what it's doing is it's, it's finished the cycle, so it's sucking everything out. 
dumping it down the drain. Throwing away all the precious water. It's actually cheaper to run a, a dishwasher than it is to actually wash up. So, eco-friendly, save the whales. Although, if this does work, it's already dumped the washing powder. Uh, so I didn't have washing powder in this one, so I'm gonna have to stop it and do it again with washing powder. And then, then I take everything out, then I'll... It is working, there you go. So it probably was a float, let's hope it was. But then when you're messing around, I might have just reset it. So it might work once and then next time it won't work. And as I say, I've got to stop it now to put some dishwashing powder in. Because either, it, think of this conspiracy theories, if they actually wait until it's got the next cycle, then dump the washing powder in. Save the planet, save the whale. Whichever way you run it. Either, either they, the machine people are in collaboration with the washing powder people to, so they get rid of as much as possible. Or some people who don't like whales. I love whales. You cook them each side for five minutes, beautiful. Oh no, I'm joking. Fry them in a pan, much better. Yum yum. Only joking. Right, let's just watch it go into the uh, next cycle, bit of the cycle. And as I say, if that works, I'm going to stop it. Put some powder in, let it do another cycle. I might even drive a bit more in there. I'll turn the power off this time so I don't electrocute myself. Shocking experience and um, dry it up a bit, have a look a bit more in there and um, if there's anything exciting I'll let you know, if it's not I won't bother and then uh, just turn it off, put the new cycle on I might put the sides back on there you go, no, it's gone to the next cycle ok so let me turn it off, put some soap in it maybe I'll put it back together again uh, definitely dry it out a bit more, let you know incidentally, now it's working, I turned it off and it turned off. So, I'll probably be able to turn it off from the front as well. That's paused. Back on. And off. Okay, I'm going to turn the power off and get in there, but uh, yeah, it's working, it's a little bit better. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Cycle finished, it's about an hour and a bit. I turned it over to an eco wash, but it didn't, it just carried on with the other cycle. And you lift, open it up, lots of steam. The, um, the powder didn't open up properly, it hasn't all gone, but that's maybe because of this, this knife. Before it had the, something, uh, uh, cheese grater sitting here and it didn't open up. We've had glasses, it doesn't open up. Whatever you put here can affect this opening up. If it can't, if it can't open up properly, then it, um, it doesn't empty properly. Anyway, that's a different problem. Okay, looks like everything's clear. I'm gonna empty it out, turn it on its side, and see how much water comes out. Right, cycle finished, about an hour and a bit, and 15 minutes, hour and a half. Put some towels down might fall over at any minute. Lent it on its side, look at all that water. There's a lot of water there. This is where the float is, I think. And let's see how this comes off. Let's have a look. Looks like there's some catches here. Maybe it'll just fall off all the way around. Let me have a quick look, because it might just fall over. I'm balancing a bit funny here. Okay, these clips on this side, um, squish that way, I don't know if you can see that, probably not. <laughs> no. One day. Okay, anyway, that one pushed that way. This one pushes that way. Was it that way? Yep. See it better there. And then it comes off. And there's the float. There we go. 
There's the float, that's what's giving the problems. All the water's drained out, there's some dye there, I don't know what that was for. Just food colouring. There's the float. There they are, you can hear the switch. And that's what's causing the problems, water in there. Okay, well all the water's gone, mostly, see it's all dripping out, <laughs> interesting, okay, what else you got in there, a few other bits and pieces, we'll do those one at a time, and something else breaks, okay, let me drain all the water out, put it back together again, problem solved for now, Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, there's enough water out. Okay, have fun.